One of the things before we started the season, you asked Dan, don't leave any cliffhangers for my character because I can't be asked a million of the same questions again. Like, I mean, we're not going to be asking how you died anymore. So yeah. is there going to be any new questions that you can't answer now for the next nine months? Oh, God, they're all, yeah, I mean, yes, there yes. No, there always will be, but I think they're, they're, they're absolutely knowing where Jack is going and, and how we're going to get into, let's say, a younger subset of Jack and Rebecca in their, in their 20s um, together as well as a part you know, knowing that, it, I think it's, man, I, I'm, <laughs> yeah, man. I'm, you know what it is? I'm dying to get back to work. Right. I really am. I mean, you know, that is, it's nice to have a break from, from the daily grind of, of working on the show. But at the same time, like, I'm, I'm, I've never felt more comfortable in a character than I have in Jack. Really? Um, there is no need for planning. All you have to do is prepare the words and show up and Jack kind of takes over. So was that kind of... Um, and being in Vancouver and shooting, was it more work for you than normal to get into a different character? Because you're so used now to playing this character yeah. that you feel so entitled. Yeah, it was. It was, you know. Um, but Denny Swift, the character that I'm playing in Art of Racing in the Rain, he, he's not too complicated of a human being. He's, he's actually very similar to just me. If you take away acting and replace it with race car driving, I feel like we're very similar men. So once I accepted that, it was like, okay, kid, just learn your lines, show up, be present with Amanda and, and, and Ryan, who plays Ryan Keir Armstrong, who plays my daughter, and all the great actors, and, and our director, Simon Curtis. It's like, just, just be present. Yeah. Um, now we're going to see you this season, Jack, go kind of go back to the, the years in Vietnam. All right. Just give us a little, what, what kind of emotions are we going to be exploring and kind of figuring out there? Um, wow. Well, you know, Knowing who Jack is, the man who loves his wife, who loves his kids, who's going to run into a burning house uh, to, to save the dog, to save family mementos, I think we want to know what created that. What was the thing that actually helped create that man? We saw a small snippet of it at uh, the, the end of the first season where we went back in the past and we saw the, the moment that Jack met Rebecca and things turned for him. So I think knowing more about who Jack is and what created him, what built him, that's what we're going to see in Vietnam. Yeah. Um, the group text, is that, have you guys all gotten back <laughs> together again? Is that picked oh, up? That, like yeah, that? it was funny. It went, it went quiet a little bit. But then, and even like Mandy and I, we were like, man, it's really quiet. It's kind of weird. Like, who's going to be the first person to break in and be like, hey, guys, we love you all. But no, it's, it's definitely right there. It is full in effect. Um, you know, knowing that this was coming today, this event, it was, it was, you know, Dan Fogelman, our boss, was in there, you know, cracking jokes, getting everybody fired up and going. It's, it's fun. It's, it's nice to be connected, even though we're not always together. How much pressure is there to find that perfect GIF, though, before I mean? <laughs> Nobody beats Chris Sullivan or Justin Hartley. I mean, like I'm not. I'm. I'm usually. I feel like at times I'm the spectator, I'm a little bit of the cheerleader in the group, um, because I'm not really the one coming up with the funny material, the entertaining material. Um, but yeah, it's it's fun. It's it's nice that we all have that. And there's like sub conversations going on. So you know, you got to really pay attention to who's on and be like, okay, let's let's know our audience. I love you know your role in the group text. Well, yeah. No, yeah, I, know I mean, there, well, you know what? I mean, I know, I know, and it's also like at times, like I feel like, hey, I'm dad, so I gotta let, I gotta let the kids have their thing, you know. I can't be the one to, to barge and be like, hey guys, what are you doing? Like I gotta just sit there quietly and and, and make sure they're having a good time.